Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Bloods Audios. Harry Houdini was a magician who was famous for his escape acts. He had once freed himself after being buried alive in 1904 at the end of one of his shows in London. Houdini challenged the audience to successfully handcuff him. A journalist from Daily Mirror, a British newspaper, stepped forward. Let's read this report for the story of the challenge titled Houdini's Challenge. Let's begin, shall we? In his travels, the journalist had encountered a mechanic who had spent 5 years of his life in creating a lock which he claimed no mortal man could pick. The journalist had brought back a handcuff containing this lock to London the lock was submitted to London's best locksmiths all of whom declared that they had never before seen such a wonderful device so the journalist brought the handcuffs to the show and challenged Houdini to what has become the most difficult escape act he has ever performed Houdini like a true sportsman accepted the challenge a loud burst of applause greeted the journalist as he stepped onto the stage and shook hands with the handcuff king the journalist placed the handcuffs on Houdini's wrists and snapped them shut then he turned the key 6 times thus locking it as firmly as possible Houdini said ladies and gentlemen i am now locked up in a handcuff that has taken a british mechanic 5 years to make i do not know whether i'm going to get out of it or not but i can assure you i'm going to do my best the mystery arc then disappeared into the cabinet that contains so many of his secrets it stood in the center of the stage houdini loves to call it his ghost house the journalist kept an anxious eye on it pacing back and forth time went by 5 10 15 20 minutes sped then At 22 minutes, Houdini put his head out of the ghost house, and this was the signal for a great outburst of cheering. He is free! He is free! shouted several. But they were disappointed when they discovered that he had put his head outside the cabinet only in order to get a good look at the lock in strong electric light. The band broke into a song as Houdini once more disappeared within the cabinet. At 35 minutes, he again emerged. His collar was broken. Water trickled in great streams down his face, and he looked deadly warm and uncomfortable. "My knees hurt," he explained to the audience. "I'm not done yet." The journalist spoke rapidly to the manager. That gentleman nodded his head and whispered something to an attendant. Presently the man appeared bearing a large cushion. The mirror has no desire to submit Mr. Houdini to a torture test, said the journalist. And if Mr. Houdini will allow me, I shall have great pleasure in offering him the use of this cushion the handcuff king was glad of the rest for his knees for he pulled it through into the ghost house for 20 minutes more the band played on and then houdini emerged from the cabinet still handcuffed almost a moan broke over the audience 
Houdini looked pitiable and much exhausted. He looked about for a moment and then advanced to his challenger. Will you remove the handcuffs for a moment? He said, so that I may take my coats off. For a few seconds, the journalist considered it. Then he replied, I am indeed sorry, Mr. Houdini, but I cannot unlock those cuffs unless you admit you are defeated. The reason was obvious. Houdini had seen the cuffs locked, but he had never seen them unlocked. So the journalist thought there might be more in the request than appeared on the surface. Houdini twisted until he got a penknife from his coat pocket. This he opened with his teeth and then, turning his coat inside out over his head, calmly cut in t- into pieces. This delighted the audience who yelled excitedly. The journalist watched Houdini re-enter the cabinet. Time sped on. The mysteriarch had been handcuffed for an hour. Ten minutes more of anxious waiting and then a surprise was in store for everybody. The band was just finishing a stirring mat- march. Then, with a great shout of victory, Houdini jumped out from the cabinet. Holding the shining handcuffs in his hand, he was free. A roar of gladness went up. Men waved their hats, shook hands one with another. Ladies waved their handkerchiefs, and some members of the audience lifted Houdini and carried him round the stage. But the pressure had been too much for the handcuff king, and he sobbed as though his heart would break. With a great effort, he regained his composure and received the congratulations of the mirror. The journalist announced to the audience that a beautiful solid silver model of the handcuffs would be made and presented to him. Late last night, Houdini sent the following telegram to the mirror. Allow me to thank you for the open and upright manner in which your journalist treated me in today's contest. Must say that it was one of the hardest, but at the same time one of the fairest tests I ever had. And that's the end of the story, adapted from the adventurous life of a versatile artist, Houdini. We hope you found it interesting. For more useful videos, Please subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. We have uploaded many stories here at Brain Blitz Audios. Some of their links are given in the description down below. Please do visit the links and enjoy more stories. See you soon. Bye bye.